Ting Bu. I came here after going through our newsletter iCapital and make me wonder, why have you been paying a lot of attention to macroeconomic factors, especially the global ones? Well, good that you've been reading our newsletter. I think it's simple, isn't it, right? When you value an asset, whether it is securities, properties, you have to calculate the a few things, cal calculate the intrinsic value. And to do that, you need to be able to estimate the sustainable income or sustainable earnings. And then you have to use a discount rate or interest rate to value the earnings, right? But when you want to use a discount rate, what uh, discount rate are you going to use? 1%, 10%, 5%? So in deciding the discount rate, you've got to figure out what the underlying macroeconomic conditions are, whether uh, you are in an inflationary environment, deflationary environment, so that you can figure out what the interest rate or discount rate will be. So that's why we have no choice but to, because we are in a situation where the macroeconomic environment has been very unusual. You have countries that have got negative interest rate, zero interest rate, or close to zero interest rate. And then you have to ask yourself, will this interest rate regime sustain for years to come? Or are you going to get a situation where interest rates will start rising? And that is why value investing cannot be done in a vacuum. There must be a context to it, there must be a backdrop to it.